everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought i would do a video on the wet and wild silk finish lipsticks so wet and wild just came to new zealand yay so you can purchase it at the drugstore which is farmers which is really not like a drugstore it's like a department store but it's at farmers and these bad boys were 2 dollars they are 99 cents us dollars so they're 90 they're not even us dollars it's not even a dollar but it's 99 cents us and then at 2.99 new zealand so this is them here so i'll start with the packaging i've got two shades before before i start with the packaging i've got shade fuchsia with blue pearl and shade breeze so this is the packaging here so it's just like a kind of like it looks pretty cheap it, i mean it was 2.99 so it was really cheap just plain wet and wild got a lid there and that is the lipstick there so it's definitely pink I, see, I mean it's definitely fuchsia with a blue pearl on there it's kind of like iridescent blue sort of thing and that is the label there so just kind of like your standard and then we have shade breeze which is kind of like a rose goldy kind of metallic sheeny lipstick so what i'll do is i'll get shade fuchsia with a blue pearl and just swatch it on my hand for you there so that is it there as you can see it's got a very blue tinge but it is very fuchsia and for 2 dollars like that pigment is pretty good and then I'll get shade breeze and it just kind of swipe it along here so as you can see I've just drawn it on there it is a very light kind of shade but it would be an amazing topper like it is so so pretty and look how it shines in the light you could even use it as like a highlighter or like on your eyes because it's just so pretty and sparkly so now what i'll do is i'll go on my lips so this is shade fuchsia with blue pearl and i'll just put it on so as you can see that was two swipes it's so incredibly pigmented and it's just really soft and nice like it's very lightweight But look, one swipe motion, hang on. Look at that pigment for one swipe. This is ridiculous. And these were the kind of sheer ones as well, because I was swatching them all, and I saw that it's really, like, hydrating. It's really, really nice. I'll read the description of them on the Wet n Wild site so we can get a bit more know-how on them. So, we've never quite understood why others make you spend over 20 times as much on something that we give you for next to nothing. Our lipstick formula contains all the same things as the other guys, rich color vitamins A and E, aloe vera, so I think that's why they feel so soft. And it really feels like putting silk on your lips. Yeah, it, it really does. Um, if you're already thinking that's a crazy bargain, we've now added macadamia nut oil that contains antioxidants to hydrate your lips for a smooth, supple pout. So that's why it does feel so lush. Are we just crazy? Have we gone too far? Or do you deserve it? We definitely think so. One try and we guarantee you'll declare this the best lipstick brand of your life. And... Yeah. <laughs> like, look how the colour just comes off. Like, there is the fuchsia colour and then you can see, like, it's like an iridescent kind of blue. Bring it a bit closer so you can see it better. See, look at that. It's just like blue reflex. It's like so super pretty. I'll just turn my torch on my phone and see if that lights it up any better. See, it's just so like blue and glistening it's just so super pretty it's just like such a pretty shade i really really like this one so this was fuchsia with a blue pearl and for 2.99 like and they're probably really easy to take off they don't this one's not a matte one so it is like a silk one so it just stays shiny like that so yeah it just wipes off pretty easily i don't know if it's stained no, I don't think it's stained at all. So that's good to know. Because I hate it when you wear a pink lipstick and it stains. Like, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's really not. Just be part of my mouth. And now I'll go with Shade Breeze. So to me, Breeze is kind of like a... Just a shine. Like a sheen kind of lipstick. It's not very pigmented in color like as you can see it is like a rose goldy metallic but it's just like something you'd put on top of a matte lip or something which i'm going to try 
but yeah after putting that on my mouth there it, it would be nice if you're going for like that no makeup makeup look sort of thing but it doesn't have much of like a color payoff like see it's just like i've put a little gloss on my lips but that is shade breeze there so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna wipe this off and i'm going to put a matte lip on there like a matte liquid so this was also from the kiss me collection this is shade teddy bear and if you want a free lipstick when you sign up use code stress 1307 but anyway i just give that a few seconds to dry down and we'll get shade breeze on there so I'm just a bit extra with my fat. Did you ever do that as a kid? So now that it is dried down, I'm just going to bring you real close so you can see what it looks like on. So yeah, none of the colour of my liquid has gone on there. But as you can see, it's just kind of given it the extra kind of shine. It, it kind of it wasn't as, as exciting as I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be a bit more harder. I'll use the fresh side there. It's just kind of giving it a sheen. Try and get some of colour off on it. So yeah, I know that the... Um, so I know that the liquid isn't going on there. So this one doesn't really work as a topper. It's not making it kind of glistening. It just kind of looks like I've put like a gloss on top. But in like a lipstick formula. I have seen that it is like taking a little bit of it off. But I mean that's okay. That's alright. So um, it would probably be best if you did wear it by itself. But even then it's just kind of like a nice kind of natural kind of look. If you get what I mean. Like you just wear it to be kind of like natural. So now back to nothing on my lips. And I'll just reapply it there. So it's just like a night. Nice, yeah just kind of like a. A sparkly topper, I'd say, but I didn't really work as a topper, so by itself it's still equally as pretty, but I probably wouldn't buy this again, nor would I use this much, I don't think, this shade. This shade was really nice because of the blue reflex in it, but this one, not my fave. I'm actually, I, I changed my views on this, I really do like this, like I think it's just a nice little subtle kind of nude kind of champagne kind of pop kind of color sort of thing but um yeah anyway to get these for $2.99 is ridiculous because they are so good as well and like they're so silky they don't feel irritating they don't have a weird smell like I find sometimes lipsticks have a weird smell and then you're like oh my god ew. like it smells real gross but these don't actually smell that bad at all so yeah I mean hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I know it was a bit of a like kind of wishy-washy trying to work out what's going on video but yeah that was the wet and wild silk lipstick lipsticks so does that make sense <laughs> so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed that and if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe wherever the subscribe box is if you haven't already and until next time i love you guys so much and i'll see you on the next one bye